In this week's Bright Spot, we're paying tribute to a different sort of sheriff deputy. WVUA 23's Chelsea Barton shows us the memorial honoring four late officers. If you've ever been out to the Tuscaloosa County Sheriff's Office training facility in Barrie, you know how impressive it is. Officers from all over the country come here to train. Well, there's a recent addition to the property that's honestly doggone special. This is just a way for us to uh, show our appreciation for the canines that have worked here in Tuscaloosa County since the beginning basically of our K-9 unit and uh, those uh, K-9s have done an incredible job have uh, you know they're an incredible asset for us to have in in the solving of crime and protecting our officers and they truly are they're a deputy just like somebody else is and that's the way we look at it. The three dog memorial features a Labrador, German Shepherd and Bloodhound representing the K-9s the Sheriff's Office currently has. Us, and this is the least that we could do uh, to recognize those K-9 and the, and the handlers and you'll see here it's got their names from the very beginning all the way till today and uh, it's just a way of, for us to show our appreciation for them putting their lives on the lines for the citizens of Tuscaloosa also. One of the duos honored Sergeant Hunter Strickland and his partner Reno. But Reno is very special. He's uh, not only is a, my partner on the road, he's uh, big with our family at home. Um, especially with my other little dog, uh, they're their best friends. But on the road, he's a, he, he's a very good tool. Um, he kind of makes you feel comfortable when, he, when he's with you and everything that he does and, and uh, the, the tools that you can use with him. See that? Sergeant Strickland and Tuscaloosa County Sheriff Ron Abernathy tell us these four-legged deputies have helped solve countless crimes and even saved their partners' lives. Now that's man's best friend. I can't tell you how many times we end up sending your, you know, your canine partner goes in in front of you to determine to find that suspect that's in that house that's hiding that may have a weapon. There's no telling how many times these these animals have saved somebody, one of our deputies' lives. There's no doubt in my mind by going in there. Not to mention solving the crime and capturing the suspect, but just the fact that they were able to go in and detect it because of the what the capabilities they they have between their smell and their hearing and everything. They're able to locate that and hopefully keep our deputy out of harm's way. And that's what they do, and they do it every day, and we just truly appreciate it. You gotta look at it like this. A lot of times they're, they're before us. Uh, we may send them into a house with an unknown you know, subject or in the woods, they're always in front of us. And even though if you're riding by yourself or you're, you're out on a call by yourself, you gotta know that he's right there with you and you can be used at any time, so it gives you a, a peace of mind. So what do these guys think of the memorial? They're not real, you know. We're grateful that they uh, have put this special place out here uh, for the ones that are special to us and our families. Once I finally saw it, I was I was amazed by it, and, I, and I'm proud that they did this for us. Good job, buddy. That's a good man. That's a good man. 